I went once to the wake of a stranger. The wake was as sudden as the person's passing, following their death that very same night, lying at the center of the floor, covered by a white bedsheet from head to ankle, their dark, gnarled feet bare to us strangers. It was silent enough we could hear the sea of Madagascar mowing away at the sand. There were so many strangers in that room. Maybe the widow had hoped to flood death out of the house, back to the pitted streets with a swift and active tide, even if the neighbor's suspicions were confirmed by the blocked skin on the soles of her husband's feet. Even if the foreigners were there too, with their paper white and sun-cankered faces creased out of respect and confusion. The house became a complex, and the home became a square, and the street became a knot around that floor, through the kitchen, into the yard. And what brought us there? What pulled us into that tide? I went once to the wake of a school. Maybe it was a wake. They said it was a birthday party. But we were all talking in elegies. And we didn't wear black. We wore red. We wore so much red. And we shook so many hands. And every poem was goodbye. Every toast was goodbye. Every greeting was goodbye. Every goodbye was belted out and recanted till they knew it to be true. There was so much marble in those hallways, you could hear the echo of the footsteps of the night by the following morning. If they didn't open the windows and shake out the scarlet curtains daily, you would hear the footfalls, you would hear the pipes rattling, you would hear the band playing from a hundred years past, from the bass line to the copper roof from the rafters onwards to heaven. And what brought us there? Before the marble was peroxided, before we were swept out with the ghosts back to the groaning streets, and the curtains were burnt, and they painted whitewashed goodbye to keep us away. I moved away more than once. I lay down on the floor of the, of the kitchen of a third-story walk-up in Montreal. It was full of strangers, talking about the funerals we'd been to, and seen ourselves in the distance. The desert cemetery flowers that we watered, while widows counted the days since on the rosaries. We held each other's hands for the places we were, that we needed because they chose us. Seaside towns in Mozambique. Crimson schools grown ancient from seeing so many children grow up or outgrow to go elsewhere. From the street corners to the water coolers, the gardens and schoolyards, the campfire and lamp glow, the candlelight vigils to the starry, starry night, this. All of this is the third place. And so what brought us here? To the tendons stretching unseen among us, to the undiscovered countries we ran aground upon as we sailed from home to work, and store and sleep where strangers found more like them. I went once to a wake, and I woke once in a place. There were strangers there who chose themselves, and everyone called us by name. They said it was a dirge, but every word was hello. We are all strangers who have chosen each other. We are all strangers who have chosen each other. Thank you very much for your time.